everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins and a cat named Moonshadow who always entertains us every day. I just want to thank you for coming by and watching my video and my crafts. I hope that you will subscribe, like, hit the notification bell because Moonshadow and I would love it. Thank you and continue to watch. So I got this really cute frame from Dollar Tree and I'm going to open it up and take the cellophane off of it and I'm taking those little pegs in the back I'm gonna take the glass out and the little frame around the picture And I will use that maybe in another frame. I have the chalk paint, which is black, and I'm going to paint the frame black. And I got these brushes at Dollar Tree, and they're very nice brushes. I'm using my little hot tool to blow dry it, pretty much. Again, I'm using the heat tool to dry it. Okay, I found this material in my basement. It's actually not material, they were napkins. And they were brand new. So I'm covering the little piece of cardboard that goes in the frame and I just glued it on with my glue stick. I think we may have lost the footage of that but it's just I just cut it out I use my glue stick and now I'm just putting it back into the frame but it was just a napkin And I'm just pushing those little metal pieces so it holds the frame in. Anyway, it was navy blue. Now I'm taking a little, it's like a uh, plastic, I forget what they're called, but they're like little mini flutes. And you get them at Dollar Tree. And I think they come like either four or six in a pack. And I'm just going to hot glue that to the napkin or the material and I found these flowers at Dollar Tree they already were together they're very pretty they're dried I'm just cutting off the little pieces that don't like they're just I guess scraggly a little bit but I'm loving how this is turning out because you can change the flowers at different times. So there it is. There are little mini cordials. You get six of them for a dollar. And you could put any kind of flowers you want in it. You can change it from season to season. And look how cute that is. I had a little lace ribbon that I used from Dollar Tree. Made a little bow and it looks perfect. Okay, I have this glass jar that I actually spray painted probably last summer. And I'm going to use some picks from, I think these are from Walmarts. And I've got some jute cord. But the glass I got from Dollar Tree, and like I said, I just spray painted it with the white spray paint from Rust-Oleum that has the primer in it too. And I'm just going to put some glue right there to hold the twine. And I'm just going to wrap the twine around the bottom of this really pretty glass jar.
So I add a little bit of glue here and there. I don't put a lot of glue on it because I didn't want the glue to show through. And now I'm just putting in all these beautiful flowers that I had. Some are from Walmart, some of them from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put them in the jar. I know it's hard to see at this angle because I've been working with this new equipment that I got and I'm not sure if it's easier or am I going to go back to my old one. So I pulled the flowers back out because I'm going to tie a little bow. I made some twine go around the top part of it too. And then I'm just going to pretty much tie like a shoestring bow, like you would tie your shoes. And then I have this other glass from Dollar Tree. It's the colored one and it's got the little swirls in it. You can see how pretty that is. I didn't want to paint it because I really like the color. So I'm using my heat gun to peel that little sticker off the bottom. It really didn't want to come off. And I had these, I guess they're like little gems that I got from another store. They were $4.99. And they have little leaves in them. They're just a mixture of little gems and little leaves. And I'm going to put them in the jar. And look how pretty that is. So then I have a mixed bouquet that I think came from Dollar Tree. I got this back in probably early spring. I only found one of these. They're really pretty. It's like a little bouquet. And this was the second DIY that I did with the twine around the bottom and around the top. And this is the next one. Look how pretty this one turned out. This is just quick and easy little bouquets that you can make for your table. And this next one is this really pretty glass. It's pretty heavy. It came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this Gleams gold paint and and I'm just going to paint over this glass. how pretty that is. Just going through and touching it up in different places. I think this turned out beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a high-end piece of glass.
I have some lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm wrapping it around the jar, tying it in like a little bow. I added some Dollar Tree flowers. Just simple, quick little flower arrangements that you could put all around your house, in your bathroom, in your vanity, on your kitchen table, dining room table, just to make things look pretty. I know it's hard to see with this new angle and I'm sorry. I'm just, you'll see it in a minute. Got to come up with something different because this angle is not working either, but there it is with the little gems in it. And I just tied a little bow around it with the lace. And then this is my little glass jar that I did with the gold. And I'm just going to do a bundle of flowers. And really, there's no need to put any floral, um, like the green stuff in there because you're just going to place them in there and it works just the same way. And I tied a little black and red ribbon and I love the way this turned out too. And there it is. It looks so pretty and dainty. There's the other one. It's so many of these. And number three. Look how pretty that one is with the little gems in there. And number four. So there's four DIYs that you can do. Quick, simple, easy. And there they all are together. I hope you'll subscribe hit the like button, notification bell. Like I said, these are just really quick and easy. Like if you're having a dinner party, you can probably make, make one of these in five minutes. Sometimes they look good in groups of three of the same vase, but how pretty are these? Could be pretty for a wedding or a shower. Anniversaries, look how pretty that gold turned out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.